Hey everybody, this is Voktabok, and we're going at another one. So, today, we will be doing Gundam Breaker! A another Japanese-only Gundam game, which slightly ticks me off, but anyway. Um, it's a really good game. It's basically a build-your-own-Gundam fighter. Um, in the sense of the Mobile Suit Gundam Extreme, ver the Versus and the Extreme Versus lines. Um, but what you actually do, well, right, that's right, this one's set up to where on, because it's a region, free, it's a region lock free PS3 playing a Japanese game, on this version my X button is my, uh, starter and my circle button is back, unlike Monster Hunter which is flipped. Don't really mind it either way, I'm kind of used to both. Um, yeah, sorry to everybody who was looking forward to Infamous Second Son. Like I said, it just became a hassle. It really did. It started off as fun, and then it just... Not Second Son. It's Infamous 2. I still plan on doing Second Son. You can watch me on Twitch using the name Ragnar Slayer. I tried to change it so that it would match. I might just sign up for a new account altogether so I can do it. Anyway, let's get right on in. Like it says, Gundam Breaker. Destroy the huge Gundam and customize your own strongest Gundam. So we're going to be doing continue. Local data. Uh, let's go to Hangar for single play. I'm going to show off my Gundam for a few minutes. I'm just going to take you through the missions one by one. Most of these I did with other people, so I'll probably be doing it again. So here is your pilot. He is nameless pilot number one. And it can be customized. And you can actually change it to be male or female. This is the mission center. This is where you will get all your missions from when you're ready. Here are the hangar bays. Bay 1, Bay 2, Bay 3, and Bay 4. Here is the gunplay hangar. This is my Gundam. I have named it Strike Gradius. Why? Because I can. It uses a lot of parts. Alright, so let's see. We have. Is there a way you can zoom in? Yes. This is actually an astray head. I believe it's. No, this is actually. Is this Exia's head? I think so. Anyway, this is. Uh. See. Um. Here we go. The body. Uh, I do not remember where I got the body from, but, um, like I said, you really can customize these Gundams to be whatever you want. Like, I'm just running through the list, I can't, I'd have to look up all the part names, and I don't know if you guys especially want to hear everything. Um, my rank is only 18, but I have some pretty cool equipment, like, that? which I am so excited to get. Can't wait to put those on there, even though those are like really disproportional to the body. It doesn't matter! Then there are these! Because <laughs> uh, you can come up with some pretty cool looking guns on here, I'm not going to lie. Everything is at your whim. Um, certain parts have special effects, like here, the uh, double O rise, the... Double O Riser from Gundam Double O actually gives my Gundam a Trans Am mode and gives it all the effects that that would. Um, as you can see, I have my shield right here on my arm. My weapon is actually a great, yeah, it's a great sword for melee attacks. My rifle is the uh, two strike blasters that were used in Seed by Kira, the ones that, he, that his uh, Destiny Gundam always has, and they're pretty cool. Um, options. This is like repairs and stuff you can do in the field. What you do is you hit the D-pad. Um, here's your EX Act, which you have a long range, a close range, and a support. Um, and they're triggered by hitting R1 in either triangle, square, or circle. Um, I couldn't tell you what they are right now, I'd have to go and we'll look at them in a mission. And then there are modules, which I actually don't know what they do, but you know what, they're cool to have anyway. 
and we're gonna go ahead because we didn't really change anything um here's the parts build crap I hit the wrong button sorry yeah here's the parts build where you can look at all the other part where you can build the parts from the blueprints you get in the field uh, let's see we got a new level one here this is Zaku uh, GN I'm a pretty big Gundam fanatic so I can kinda name off some of these just at a glance but like I said you can't really see what they are until you um until you uh build them so you really just have to look at the shadow and then you dictate what you want this just I believe tells you oh, okay here we go yeah this is just like you can see what you have actually now that I know I can do this because I actually didn't know because I'm stupid and only pay attention to one part of the game um, I'm gonna go in and actually look at all my stuff and see if I can make myself a pretty unique looking Gundam um, da -da -da, that looks like the blaster chain. It should chain. Oh, okay, I have two of them. That's why. Uh, the energy lance. The red astray. The astray. Yeah, the red astray frame. Kai swords. Uh, basic energy whip. More of those. Golden Heat Axe, which means absolutely nothing. Uh, another Energy Whip. I'm sorry, the ones before were, were physical whips. This is an Energy Whip. Here is a Beam Baradish. Heat Knives. I got two of them. And another Beam Baradish. But yeah, you get the point. It basically lets you go in and look at everything you got. This is where you can edit your name. Um, like I said, Straight Gradius. Um, don't ask me where I get my naming ideas. I just come up with, this, with them as I see them. And here we go. And here's where you can change the color of your gun. Um, I just had it stick to a very basic blue and white pattern. I thought it looked cool. So, you know, there it is. So we're actually going to go do the tutorial mission now. Alright, so what you do is you come over here, fight with the weird camera, and ooh, new missions. Ooh. Alright, yeah, let's do this one. <gasps> I, oh, okay, I was gonna say, I can go in and customize other Gundams. Um, no. This is a CPU Gundam. It's randomly put, I believe it's randomly put together to be ben to have mostly beneficial stats. Can I? I think I just saved it to a pre-build slot. Let me see if I can go in and do this with my other Gundam. Five days, yeah, I don't, I, I don't know what you're supposed to do with that anyway. All right, let's just jump in. In order to start the mission, what you do is you go up to your Gundam and you hit square. All right, here's the launch sequence. Sorry about the truck outside. I, I have no control over what the outside world does. And here we just get a brief tutorial. I'm just literally hitting every button on here, just lighting it up so you can see it real quick. Alright, here we go. Alright. Square is your, uh, melee. Yeah. 
And as you can see, I literally cut through just about everything in my path in one swing. Why? Because my Gundam is overpowered. Grossly, you might say. Ah, oh, how do you switch modes? I'd like to use my guns. Okay, X is your jump. Okay, holding L1... Holding L1 and using the attack option and using square or triangle is how you use your guns. Otherwise, you just go straight into a uh, melee. And as you can see at the bottom of the screen, that gauge is full. That means I can actually activate my Trans Am. And I'll use it next time. Um, Alright, here we go. Here's a good time to use it, just to waste it. As you can see, Trans Am makes everything a joke. It's like Metroid Prime's Hyper Mode. Difficult boss, Hyper Mode. Except it's even more... Except this one's slightly less broken. Yeah, I literally just cut through just about everything that appeared on the field in about five seconds. Now, as you can read the gauges, um, I have... I lost a little bit of health. It's not really necessarily bad. Oh yeah, boosting. Uh, boost movement. Uh, hold X. Sorry about that. To jump, just tap X. Now the way I play these games, because this is basically an RPG, this is a live action battle RPG. It's basically all this equates to. The way I play these is, um, alright, you know what, I'm tired of you already, is stats. I look at the stats, and if it works, if it looks good, if it works and it looks pretty, I use it. These little blue boxes I keep picking up are blueprints. That countdown is just how long I have to wander the field until I go back to the base. But yeah, as you can see, my Gundam is grossly overpowered for an early mission. I just wanted to show you how easy it can be once you get a good Gundam going. Ah, we're gonna go ahead and let this thing just time out since we're already down to three seconds and it won't matter anyway. Those are just awards. Over the ace point line, woohoo! Alrighty, so I didn't hit level 19 yet, which saddens me, because that's stuff I can't use. Um, literally all this is junk. So I just sold everything. Alright, now we're back here in the hangar. Alright, so... Um... Actually, I... Yeah, let's just keep going. Um, I'm just gonna go through these missions one by one. Which, early on, won't be too bad because I'm literally just gonna cut through most stuff in about five seconds.
launching Strike Gradius! Now, your um, parts affect how you do how you play the game. Like I said, um, it's a stats game. More or less. And I just killed everything in front of me. Oh, that's another thing. Your Gundams can lose their parts. Um, on this boss that's going to be in this level, I will show you what the, um, what one of the, uh, specials will be, like the way I have it set up for this Gundam. <laughs> Solo destruction. Um, but like I said, the specials are used by holding R1 and then hitting one of the three face buttons under the EX actions part. And there you go. It looks very cool when, uh... EX actions actually look really cool in powered up states. I believe they also have a wider attack range. That's another thing, um, you have to be really careful about how you use your guns, because if they're even slightly hindered by a building, um, they won't actually hit. This actually means we're getting ready to fight a Mega Gundam. Who's even bigger than I am? That is the RX-78 Gundam. The Icon. Which will now be made a joke, thanks to Trans Am. When you use an EX move using Trans Am though, it does drain the Trans Am gauge entirely, which, as you can see, isn't gonna matter, because you can basically one-shot it. Now, as you can see, my Gundam is too lazy to walk. He flies. Why? Because he can. And he's too heavy to walk on his own. Anyway, let's go ahead and get out of here. Oh yes, my operating system went up. Ah, uh, just under. But what that OS version means is the level of parts I can use. Alrighty, I think we can do one more. Was that, that was that one? Oh god, this one. If it's the one I think it is, this is gonna be the one that annoys me. 
but I'm doing it for you guys. So let's do it! Alright, there's the parts editor. Once again, I hit the wrong button. Oh, wait a minute. I meant to check on and see if I could get new stuff. Mission order 5. Customize gunplay. The red astray head, that looks awesome. But it sucks. <laughs> oh god, that's horrible. Body, keep the body, keep the arms, keep the legs, keep the backpack, keep the shield. Weapon, hmm. What are you? Oh yes, solitary beam saber. Oh, I can't wait to get this. It's going to be amazing and powerful. Ah, oh, yes. The, the um, 00X Sierra, right? The 00 Riser Blades. Oh, I will get those. And the Susano Blades. Master Age's Laser Cloth. And the Beam Beardish. Golden Beam Saber. Heat Daggers. Why do they take level 21 to be able to use those? As you can see, everything I have is vastly inferior to what I'm actually using right now, so I'm going to go ahead and stick with what I got. We're going to go ahead and start this mission. bit tired. Alrighty. Um, to skip that launch sequence if you don't want to launch it every time, and I won't be showing it every time, just in this part, um, all you have to do is hit start twice. And it'll take you right on past it. Easy as that. Ah, uh, giant, giant roulette wheel. This is a survival mission. Yep, this is survival.
Oh god, I remember why I hated this one. I have to survive for 18... I have to survive for 20 minutes. Though, when you guys see this, I will have sped it up considerably so that you're not sitting here for 20 minutes watching me do this. See how eat see how Ooh, ace unit, ace unit. <laughs> Terminated. Oh, okay, I had eighteen minutes to terminate the um ace pilot. Which I did. In what, three minutes? So yeah, as you can see, my Gundam is pretty cool. I actually had another dude help me build it. Um, his name is... Actually, you know what? Let me get back to you on that. Give me one second. Actually, you know what? I can look him up. He's on my friend list. And it's actually the guy who got me to play this game in the first place. So let's see if we can find him real quick. Ah, oh, dang. Just realized he might have changed it. Here he is. Nick the Rock 84 is him on YouTube. This is his PlayStation. Um, don't friend him without <laughs> asking first. I'm just showing off so I can give him some credit for showing me this game. Alright, guys. Well, that's going to be it for this recording. I will see you guys next time. Peace.